welcome back. So you know, the autumn is approaching and I really wanted to make a Halloween inspired sweater. Um, I drew a little sketch over here. So you know, I just want to do quite simple little face on front. Everything else will be black and maybe some stripes on the sleeves, but we'll see how it goes. I don't have a pattern, so we'll just kind of wing it and see how it goes. What well, yarn I will be using is just this This big, big value by Big Call, and also got from the same brand Orange. And yeah, and I'm using this little sweater as my reference because I don't know about you, but I always tend to make my clothing slightly bigger. Like I estimate it, and I think it's gonna be fine, and in the end, it's just <laughs> slightly too big. So you know, we'll see how it goes. But let's get on with the video. So at first I just chained the width of my reference sweater and later just did single crochets as the yarn is very chunky. I'm using 10mm hook here. I might have got distracted and finished back panel quite late in the evening. Okay, this is the next day. So I did finish the back panel. So this is here. And initially, I don't know if you can see, but all the stitches are going like this. And initially I thought to have it like that, but I don't know if I like the, the whole look of the stripes going like that, but if I turn it like this, well, to go up vertical, it seems more like knit, so I think I'll just do that. Yesterday actually, before I went to bed, I scrolled a bit through, Insta um, through Pinterest and found Pixel picture and I found one which actually matches the stitches for whatever I crocheted like horizontally and vertically. Ta -da! So it is good but I think now because as I said before I want to do vestiges to go vertically and this is more it's different way around so I need to somehow turn it but so I need to recalculate, but hopefully, well, that should be the face. To begin with, I decided to do a little swatch for the eye, just to see how it looks. Look, look at this beautiful swatch. I think that could work for the, for the front of the sweater. However, you know how before I said, oh, I found this perfect graph for the sweater and all the, col all the, the measurements match. So, nope. <laughs> Because because I decided to turn it around my initial initial panel, it actually I folded it and you know so you see that this is gone and now this the mount is not really looking that that good for me. So now I need to redraw the mount. I have redone the graph. I think now at last I'm ready to start the front the front bit. And fingers crossed it's gonna look as good as the on the graph. Look at this baby coming together. This is my first time doing a tapestry crochet, so actually I'm quite proud. I figured out like how to, well, how to make it quite nice. So I actually managed to finish the front and I'm really happy how it turned out. The, obviously this is a bit pixelated because it is crochet and the eyes actually fixed it so you can see. Like there was, remember there was slight gaps so I kind of just put little thing, little threads just from the, from behind to kind of make it more even. Because I think it would be more even if I did not have it. If I didn't turn my my piece, instead of just going forward like that, it went like that. So obviously it's a bit different, but I really like how it turned out. So I think it's time now to make the, just connect the little bits here around the shoulder and the side. I know, I might do like five on each side for the shoulders, and then we'll see about the arms. You know what this reminds me of now? 
a potato sack, but with a face. <laughs> so I was thinking just to do this whole long sleeve, maybe double crochet, because it will be a bit softer than the front bit and would be more flowy maybe, because the yarn is so chunky. Uh, but as you can see, this is such a big gap. So I think I'll try to do, at some point need to do decreases and then increases again. I don't know. So I was doing the sleeve and it seemed very really wide here. So I thought, oh, I'll just do some decreases in the inside. And now I don't know how, somehow it became this random edge. So then I just decided to do the sleeve and see if it becomes better. So I just started decreasing straight away. So first, first row I did the double crochet just around the whole armhole. And then after I'm decreasing by one stitch in each row. And then when I reach here, I think I will just probably go straight and it should just kind of become a bit wider on its own because I don't know that's how the stitch usually works out for me. Yeah, a little update, a bit sad about this sleeve, but it is hard to when you're kind of trying to figure stuff out without following a pattern. You know, everything is a progress and it's fine. Then I just went on to finish the left sleeve and added some orange stripes at the ends. And after that was done, I tried to match the right sleeve just to be the same as the left one. I finished the sleeves. Look at this baby and this baby. So now I just need to do a turtleneck. And I tried to do like this when you actually go from the base and go up. But I don't think I can do that. So I'm just gonna do a simple one. I don't know if you can see a little ripping. And then just do, you know, along, around my neck uh, and just sew it on. I'm doing this as half double crochet because I think it will be softer and will feel nicer next to the neck. Are you ready for the big reveal? <laughs> Ta -da! Look at this beautiful boxy sweater, what they actually managed to make. I did do the ripping here, the half double crochet as I said, and then sewed it together. And then here I kind of did the double crochet. I did just one of each and then two double crochets at the end because I thought it looks a bit nicer. Yeah, that's, this is done and I'm just very proud that I, that I managed to finish it. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey to making this sweater and I hope to see you in my future videos. Like and subscribe! Bye!